screencast is component diagrams and I've already created a component diagram down here which is empty right now um, and creating components itself is rather easy you just select them from the palette and drop them into here um, so let's say I have my health information system as one component and on the other side for example my my farmer company where I yeah where I could order drugs for example um, and this is sort of the, the basic structure you can decompose this so you can basically put components into other components as well um, but we'll skip this in this tutorial the interesting thing now is to connect these using interfaces um, and if we look at the standard I think most of you will probably be familiar with the lollipop view which is this view here so you see it provided interfaces some some kind of functionality that is offered by the component um, and you see required interfaces or something that is required for this component to work um, but this is actually just one view in, in UML it's just syntactic sugar um, and Papyrus at least starts with the most explicit view and that is the view down here so you have a component um, that is realizing a certain interface so this is uh, the same as the as the closed lollipop so basically providing functionality and it can use other interfaces so this is requiring functionality um, and this is the explicit view um, and this is how you would do it in papyrus so let's say for example that the the farmer company has some kind of uh, ordering interface so through this interface you can you can make orders uh, and let's let's just to clarify at an operation here make order without any functionality in it any parameters um, and of course the the farmer company in this case is offering this functionality so we say that the farmer company is realizing this interface um, and this is actually where you can switch between the different views so I can right click on this interface go to format and then you can say display interface is lollipop um, and then you you get the view that is the same as the most uh, familiar one and now I can if I want to to use this interface on, on the other side here I use the usage arrow so I say that my health information system uses this one um, and then you have everything connected. If you want to switch back because you want more details you again right click on here you say format display interfaces rectangle and then you get the whole thing. Um, one thing that is not so nice with Papyrus is that when you switch between these views it automatically hides the information so now you see that our, our operation is not here anymore. Um, to change that you go to the filters and you say show hide contents um, and then you can again select whatever you want to see and here is my operation again so this is the basic way to connect components um, if you don't want to be explicit about the interface there is also the, the option in, in UML to just draw a dependency arrow uh, and this is of course the wrong way around I want to say that my health information system somehow depends on the other component. Um, the problem with this arrow is that it's not very specific. It doesn't say what kind of interfaces, what exactly of this component are we using. Um, so be careful with this. A final thing that I will mention here, I, I won't go into too much detail regarding component diagrams, uh, but a final thing maybe is ports. Um, so if you want some kind of named interface you want to to specify where exactly something is going in or out you can create ports um, in UML and you can give them a type so uh, I can give them a name so let's say it's the, the ordering port um, and I can give them a type so for example I want my uh, my ordering interface there's not much else here uh, so now I, I see this is the name of the port, it's the, the type and there's also a multiplicity um, and then if you have a corresponding port on the other side so if for example the, the pharma company also has a, a port of the same type then you can connect them with a dependency arrow so now I have two ports with the same type and now I can say well from here you go to here 
and then it's clear that this component depends on the other component using the ordering interface. And yeah, this is this is basically all I will go into detail here. There are other views uh, for components that the standard specifies. So for example, you can have this one here where a component basically has a list of all the provided required interfaces uh, or even the realizations or artifacts that are deployed on the components or so on. But uh, these are only partly enabled in Papyrus, so you don't see the provided required interfaces as a list as far as I know, um, so we'll skip them here.